Welcome back guys, this is Val from Dreamlight. Now in today's video I'm going to talk about the hidden dash studio master light switch. Alright, how you can control all the lights at the same time. Now before going there, if you're new to dash studio, you've been using it for a while and feel stuck, overwhelmed and confused, then check out the free mini course, 7 biggest dash studio mistakes and how to fix them today. There is a link in the description field below the video. Plus you get this very Anesca Genesis 8 female character, the one you see here, a beach HDR and even a complete dash studio scene, 3 renders and a photoshop file to get it going. So be sure to check that out. Now, back to our scene, a common problem is that you know, when you have a bunch of lights, I have one, two, three, eight lights here, right? And let's say I want to tone down every one of them except for one. Let's say I want to keep the key light, the one I just turned off, this one here. Let's say I want to keep that at the same intensity, but I want to tone down all the other lights, right? And the problem is that if I click on them and check their intensity, this one is at 15, this one here is at 15, this one here is at 55, and so forth. They all have different settings. So in order for, like, if I want to, you know, tone them down to 50%, all of them, I need to kind of go and control each and one of them one by one. And if you have one light, well, it's kind of a, you can do that, right? If you have 20, that kind of becomes a tedious problem, all right? So how do you do that? Well, if you have the same intensity, Sometimes you can use control to just tick them all together, right? Use control and then just select them all. Go into parameters, select them all here, and use here to control them all. That sometimes works, sometimes does not work. There is a bug inside Dash Studio that sometimes, sometimes prevents that from working correctly. Now, there is a hidden master light control, and it's within tone mapping and I call it Film ISO. Back in the days, back in the 80s when I was a kid, there was, you know, when you bought a camera, it wasn't digital, it was analog, there was film, real film, in, you kind of put it in the camera, right? Kind of, man, that was a long time ago. And those films had a value called ISO, basically how sensitive the film is to light. And that kind of brings us here into DAS, still having this film ISO thing, right? And if I go ahead and enter 500, then the scene becomes five times brighter in an instant, right? As 100 is back to normal. Now, if I go to 50, I tone everything down to half. Well, now you have, you're asking, but the main light, well, the main light also follows, unfortunately, but now you just have one light to kind of increase intensity, and we are back where we started. Now we have toned down all the other lights, while we have this single light twice as intense, so it's the same as before. And that's the hidden switch, my friend. It's very handy, and I use it all the time. So, that's all for today. Thanks so much for watching, and again, if you're new to Dash Studio, you've been using it for a while and feel stuck, overwhelmed and confused, check out the free mini course. There's a link below this video in the description field. So guys, go ahead, check that out, have fun with your Dash Studio, and I'll see you soon.